Are you constantly thinking about van trips? That's me right now. I can't wait for my next van adventure. So right now, I'm on the holiday schedule, working six days a week. Saturday isn't mandatory, but I've been working it to get extra funds for my van. But I really don't want to go into work on Saturdays anymore. I really don't want to work this Saturday. The only reason I'm showing up is because of my best friend at work. I don't want him alone at this place on a Saturday. So last Saturday is when I really said to myself, man, I don't want to be here anymore. So during the weekday, one of the managers had a meeting about phones. We're not supposed to have our phones in this place. But you know how people are. People bring their phones in anyway. People can't live without their phone. They can't live without their Tic Tac and Instagram. But lately they've been cracking down on phones. Supposedly for all the phone thefts that's been going on here. So the main guy or one of the main guys. He's one of the. We have like 20 managers. This guy's like one of the higher up ones. But he said that. Um, yeah you get one warning. Second time he's sending you home. So couple people got sent home the other day for their phones so this Saturday was funny it's kind of funny pretty annoying funny mostly annoying right <laughs> so this Saturday right I'm not even supposed to be here this is not even my day to work so I come in and it's about to be break and then over the radio there's an announcement like walkie-talkie I hear Someone saying, hey, your DoorDash is ready. So I see two people getting DoorDash. It's like, you got to use your phone to get DoorDash. And that same manager who had the meeting about, like, you're not allowed to bring in your phone, he was there that day. He didn't say nothing. So they pick up their DoorDash at the front, and ha they're having a pizza party. And I'm telling myself, man, these guys, so it's the managers and all the people, the managers, like, they're having a little pizza party. And here I am working. I'm saying, man, I'm working right now on a day I'm not supposed to be here. And they're having a pizza party. So later on that day, I'm doing the job I dislike most, putting stuff on file. And see, I got a bruise on my finger. It's not bad. It's healing up. And then my other finger is all sliced up. So I have a Band-Aid on this finger. So I'm putting stuff on file. And it's like a, it kind of looks like a phone. It's like a scanner, but there's like, it's a touch screen. So I'm trying to type in numbers and I have a band-aid on so I can't type in zip codes. And then I'm hearing two people just talking the whole like hour I'm there by the scale. They're like above me, it's called a split and they're just talking. There's nothing to split. Split means like there's boxes coming and you're supposed to push them down a chute. There's nothing coming and they're just talking all day but it's two people that managers like. And I tell myself, you know what, it's not even my day to be here people here are just standing around having pizza parties talking i'm out of here man i don't even want to be here so i told my friend you know what i'll show up on saturday just because i don't want to i don't want you to be here by yourself man i know what it's like we're both like we still try our best i still work my best you know i, I still work fast i work i never miss anything i'm always gonna put my best effort no matter what but i don't want to be here but I told my friend, you know what, I'll come in with you on a Saturday. So I'm going to come in. I told him, I told, I told him the second I see people having a pizza party and just standing around, I'm just taking off, man. So I hope Saturday is a good day and people actually work. But I, I think it's really unfair to see, <laughs> to see that. It's funny. It's like, man, am, what, what's going on here, man? <laughs> am, I, am I really witnessing this? Are people really having a pizza party and just talking all day while I'm like typing in zip codes with my band-aid finger? You know, so yeah, I told my friend, I, dude, let's not show up Saturday, man. Like, who cares, dude? It's optional. Like, we, we do our work, man. We, we get our stuff done. Why are we coming in on a Saturday anymore? And, you know, he needs the money. I understand. So, yeah, I'll show up. But I told him the second I see people just getting paid for doing nothing and it's just a 
uh, what's it called? Go along, get along, gang, man. I'm done, man. I'm just going to leave. So, yeah, that's the plan. I want to, um, this Saturday, after work, before work, I'm going to load up my mini bike. I'm going to sleep out in the desert. It's only an hour away. Like, the main sleeping spot is about an hour away. And then another 30 minutes later, I'll have the middle of nowhere. And I could ride my mini bike. So I'll sleep out in the desert Saturday night. Because when I go to the desert, especially like when it's the winter season, when I go to the desert, it's, um, I mean, I'm a, uh, what's his name? Uh, Jason, adventure ready, adventure ready van life. He saw it, man. I sleep, dude. <laughs> I sleep long. So, you know, I'm a, I'm a 12 or, you know, noon or one o'clock wake up guy normally. So, um, yeah, when I normally wake up, I got to get ready. When I get to the desert, it's around 2 o'clock. So I only have two hours of daylight normally when I get to the desert. So this time around, I'm actually going to wake up already at the desert. So I'll have, like, plenty of daylight to enjoy my mini bike. I might do a live stream. Let me know if you guys, let me know if you want to see me do a live stream. So um, out in the desert. And maybe it's a cool potential meetup spot. So, yeah, get my mini bike out, take advantage of my van being lifted, the spot I have to get to. It does help to get a lift or to have a lift because I have to go around the broken bridge. And then when I have my mini bike hanging off the back, I mean, this is a horrible departure angle. You add a mini bike and the departure angle is really horrible. So having the lift does help to go around the broken bridge. You'll see the broken bridge. Um, I have a video of the broken bridge with the geo tracker, so I'll put it here somewhere. You'll see the geo tracker going around the broken bridge. But yeah, man, you know what? I'm just trying to enjoy my time here. I do enjoy seeing my friends. I do enjoy the job. But yeah, the the way that it's just unfair here, man. I can't I can't take it anymore. So I'm going to do my best. My time here, I'll do my best. And right now, Amazon's not hiring right now. I think they overhired for this holiday season. So I'm just going to wait till there's a full-time spot up at Amazon. My friends who have went to Amazon, they're actually like really enjoying it there. And they told me um, the managers are actually appreciate you and say thank you for you know a good job. You know what? I'll say this. I don't want to be completely negative, but my direct manager right now, he's a good dude, man. He always says thank you to me at the end of the night. And he says, uh, thank you. Like, man, I don't even have to supervise you. I could rely on you. Like every task that you have, you never leave anything behind. And, you know, when people treat me good, I want to do good for them. You know, since this guy respects me, I want to make him look like a million bucks. So I will say that. I see the I see how unfair this place is but right now I'm I'm lucky to have a manager that actually appreciates me so the the my direct manager right now good guy man good guy and this holiday this holiday season has been very easy you know I've been cruising just because I got a manager who um who appreciates me you know one guy appreciates me at least and he says thank you every time he sees me for like completing my tasks uh, one of my tasks is I'm out here uh, making sure there's no uh, boxes next to these uh, delivery vans like I told him if there's any uh, vans that only have a couple boxes don't even drive them inside just push them along the um, edge I'll see them and then I'll be able to pick them up for you. That way, you don't have to waste your time putting the vans in. And every day, man, I'm making sure these vans are clear. So, yeah, man, I'm just going to enjoy my time here. Enjoy seeing my friends here. Um, having fun seeing the people who do appreciate me here. And Saturday night, man, after work, I'll head out to the desert. All right, everyone. Saturday night. Get out to the desert.